Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Liz Collins. And I'm Dennis Dota. A Golden Valley woman will never look the same after she was violently attacked by her neighbor's dog. Now she wants her story heard to keep other people safe from dangerous dogs. A warning, parts of this report are hard to watch. You may feel like they're a member of your family. They're still an animal and we need to keep that in our minds. This is what Charmaine Shoddy looked like before a German Shepherd mauled her face on Wednesday. And as Reg Chapman found, she does not want anything bad to happen to the dog. When the dog came at me, I went down on the ground and I grabbed my face. I felt like my face was gone. Charmaine Shoddy says it all happened so fast. All I was doing was just standing there and the dog lunged out and attacked me. Max, a three-year-old German Shepherd she's known since he was a puppy, attacked her. His teeth ripped her lips out of place. These pictures show her injuries. Three days later, she has already begun to heal. Shadi says she does not fault Max for attacking her. It breaks my heart when you hear of animals being put down because it's really not the animal's fault. It's our faults as humans for taking a man and not raising and training the animals appropriately. Shoddy believes lawmakers should create some sort of policy where people who want to own animals known to bite should be required to train and discipline them. I'm concerned that there are so many of these dogs and so many are being bred and so many are being brought into these homes and we're treating them like they're just a dog, but they're not just a dog, they're an animal and they're a dangerous animal. Her biggest concern is the fact that Max is back home with his owner and three foster children. It upset me because after what happened, and there are three children in that house, and I just don't believe that it's safe for the children with, with Max right now. Now Max is under quarantine inside his owner's home. The dog's owner must follow certain stipulations, but there's no word on what, if anything, will happen with Max. Liz? Wow, a powerful message, Reg. So what is next for Charmaine? What will she do now? Well, Charmaine is a realtor. She doesn't know when she'll be able to return to work. She's been told it could be a two-year process and lots of surgeries before her life gets somewhat back to normal. All right, we wish her well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Reg.